Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below. Everyone deserves to celebrate a good time with a craveable meal, especially as summer comes to an end. Raisin Cane's knows that and has you covered with their cooked order chicken fingers, crispy crinkle cut fries, buttery Texas toast, and of course, their delicious cane sauce. It's the perfect way to treat yourself. Don't forget, Cane's is here to help with those large crew hangouts and events with his tailgate options. When life speeds up, Raisin Cane's has you covered. So go to RaisinCane's.com or on the top of the app to start your order. And be sure to find Raisin Cane's on social to check out everything they got going on. All right, uh, BFF's new episode. First headline, tale of Swiss Vienna show canceled due to uh, terrorist threat. Three ISIS members have been arrested in connection to a terror plot on Taylor Swift's Vienna concerts. Terrorists allegedly had very specific detailed plans to cause a tragedy on the scale of Paris, Manchester, or Moscow. Although terrorists were caught before committing the act, Austrian government officials canceled the show for everyone's safety. Taylor Swift had previously talked about her fear of going on tour and keeping fans safe. Um, this is terrifying. Terrifying yet, like, that's the world we live in, you know? It's like, I... I don't want to be like an awful, and I guess it's happened. You had the Las Vegas shooting yeah. on yeah. like the country concert. Any big gathering, not just concerts, it's the world we kind of live in. So good, good job by counterterrorism and stopping it before. I wonder how they, how they like found out it was going to happen. That seems that, like a, an insane job. It is. I feel like a lot of times. Whenever there are attacks that actually go through, when you when they peel it back, they're like, oh, you should have reacted to this. Or you should. I don't know how they do it because there's so many threats, I'm sure. And who knows if actually anything would have happened if yeah. the concert. But better safe than sorry, I suppose, if it's a critical, I mean, a credible threat. So definitely better safe than sorry. But yeah. I wasn't like, holy shit, I can't believe this happened when I heard it. It's like, yeah, it's a sad state of affairs. Mm -hmm. Um Especially because so. they know they're gonna get like Taylor Swift is gonna get them the most attention out of anyone. Yeah, and the most people will be there. Yeah, so any any reality. major event. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um Taylor Swift blocks Kanye from number one spot. Taylor Swift ended Kanye's eleven album streak of reaching the top spot Billboard's top one hundred after TTPD hit the number one spot for the fourteenth time forcing uh his album Vultures Two into number two. That's pretty crazy. I think Kanye has kind of lost a little steam, but still crazy that 14, no. like, because the Tortured Poets has been on, on there for a long time. I almost wonder if Kanye releasing this much later into, like, Taylor Swift's album helped Taylor Swift's album continue to chart number one because you know the Swifties are going to block Kanye on purpose. Like, yeah. everyone that is, like, in the weeds, in the drama... They are How would streaming you do that, that. They're streaming that over and so over. So they usually keep over. playing Taylor Swift over oh, and over. Oh, hundred percent. They yeah, want to. Yeah. They want to block Kanye off the number one, right? Like, yeah. I, I was. I, I was sure you were going to be happy to read this headline. I am happy. I did, but I mean, I'm so out on Kanye. I didn't really even know he released a new album, so I don't. I, but, I didn't even hear about it. I didn't know he yeah. did either. He definitely, he definitely is. Uh, like had a little bit of a, a fall off compared to how much he was being talked about. You know, a year ago. Yeah, I mean, and not to be fair, position. it's not just that I don't like Kanye. Like, I'm not a rap guy, so it's like wouldn't it have been up my alley anyways. We have more Kanye. Ed Kelsey, don't know who that is, calls out Ka Kanye after a new what was that? Yeah, someone banging on their keyboard. Yeah, what was? That? <laughs> no, my Octo buddy got stuck, and I was picking uh, it up to read the sheet. <laughs> Ed Kelsey Pretty calls brilliant. out Kanye over new Taylor and Travis lyric, and Kanye and Ty Dolla's. And Kanye and Ty Dolla's, uh signs new song Lifestyle, Lil Wayne mentions Taylor and Travis in his verse with the line, I twist my Taylor spliffs tight at the end like Travis Kelsey. Ed, oh, Ed Kelsey. His so dad. this is dad. Okay. I thought Ed Kelsey were talking about a rapper. Ed Kelsey clapped back by sharing the article on his Facebook and writing mental illness on full display. Good. Oh. I like that. So yeah. Taylor spliffs tight at the end like Travis Kelsey. It wasn't really like a diss, though. Twist my Taylor Swift's tight at that. Yeah, it's just kind well, of a, like a bar. Yeah, <laughs> Taylor like, Swift's I mean, tight bar? end, like Travis Kelsey. I think it's just it's a bar. like Kanye it's should just probably bar. just yeah. stop talking, talking about, about Swift her. Right, right, right. Any, no, any songs? That. It kind of yeah. sounds like it feels like he's like clinging to the relevancy with her name. Yeah. A little obsession. No, I get you. Uh, 
There's an evil celebrity dentist. Kanye, this is, we do this sometimes at BFFs. It's like, let's just reel out like five straight Taylor or let's just go Kanye. Yeah, Kanye yeah. West, anti-Semitic former chief of staff, Milo Yiannopoulos is claiming that celebrity dentist Thomas B. Conley got Kanye addicted to nit nitrous oxide or laughing gas, used Kanye's psychological vulnerability vulnerabilities to exploit him and charge him 50 grand a month for laugh gas supply, which Kanye is now addicted to. This is the stuff that I said I would get addicted to happily. Yeah, right. you would, yeah, you would you love it. You were talking about this. You were talking about this. I feel like, uh, <clears throat> was he, what's that anti-Semitic former chief of staff? Is he just like a known anti-Semitic or was he a leading? No, I don't know that is he, he is. Like a proud, uh, this, is that this part is of his the guy, This guy got kicked off Twitter before it became X. That's what I remember him. I don't think he would be like, hey, are you anti-Semitic? I don't think he'd be like, yeah, I hate Jews. I don't think. I think he'd be mm. like, I'm being mis... I don't know. I don't know enough about him. He's supposed to like um, Nazi stuff, and that's why he got oh, kicked well, off. Oh, well, well, then maybe then he maybe, is. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't yeah. do it. I think he's no, trolling pretty... like Jewish journalists with like swastikas or something. Okay, then I hate this fucking guy. Why yeah, a bad guy. Terrible yeah. move. Uh, as far Kanye's as camp just seems bad. Like that's... everyone. The company you keep, right? I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even his dentist is evil. And then this guy, swastikas, and then Kanye. It's just like bad group. <laughs> yeah. How do you get hooked on the gas? Like you do it for it's 10 addict It's addicting. Like, so you, you can't, like, is it bad for you if you do it once a day for five minutes? Yeah, I, it does like irreversible damage to your brain. Oh, well, Ooh. okay. Then yeah, That's I could okay. see how that would be super bad. Because I, I feel like- this is why he's going a little crazy, maybe. Okay. That, yeah, that could be it. I thought I saw something where he wanted to, this this dentist wanted to make it like legal for psychological like therapy or something like that. Like he thought it should be used, but. That's crazy, bro. You're a dentist. Stick is that the dentistry? Who, I, who's the guy in the middle? The dentist or Pitbull? <laughs> <laughs> or Batista? I don't know. I can't no, I tell. think. I think that's the dentist. Oh, well, <clears throat> no shit he's an evil dentist then. If this is like... <laughs> oh, he, yeah, he looks that evil. That cannot be the dentist. Well, I mean... Is that the dentist? Yeah, it's the dentist. Austin, Oh, that's... well, I mean, then what are we even talking about here? Like, yeah. no shit he's an evil dentist. Look at him. <laughs> no, yeah, that's... that's literally 101 evil dentist. What do you like? I think he... Does he have a grill in, too? He's not even taking care of his teeth. No, not well at all. It seems uh, like... He doesn't have hair, just tattooed hair. Yeah, this is the most evil-looking evil dentist, dentist that's ever lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, Mr. Yeah, Dr. Evil. Imagine being a little kid, and you're already scared of the dentist, and you pull up and you, <laughs> you see go to that, that guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Yeah. Running out of there. Kraken. This stream is presented by Kraken, one of the longest standing, most secure crypto platforms in the world. Kraken is your guide to financial freedom, offering safe and simple access to crypto for all. Trusted by 13 million individuals, traders, and institutions around the world. Kraken offers professional 24-7, 365 client support, along with one of the fastest, most performant trading platforms available. Kraken leads with transparency and trust, securing client funds, NFTs, and privacy through top-notch security. Not investment advice, crypto trading involves risk of loss, offered for U.S. customers, excluding Washington, New York, Maine, through Payward Ventures Interactive, Inc. View legal disclosures at kraken.com slash legal slash disclosures. Go to kraken.com slash barstool and see what crypto can be. This next story is my timeline. Tanner responds to Brooks racist tweets on canceled. I don't think when we did this last time, I really didn't know what Brooks tweets were. They're pretty bad. They're really bad, actually. Um, yeah. It puts Tana in an interesting position. Yeah. Like she really, first of all, in Tana's rant, she looks like an avatar. <laughs> what do you, you Like mean? a blue person? She doesn't even look real. She looks like she's from like uh what is that game that you play? Sims? Uh when it was it went crazy. It was um like imaginary things with pop Pokemon up Go. She looks like she's in Pokemon Go. Like do you, what do you think she looks emotionless? No, she doesn't look human. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Put the video up. Are you talking about but the one that she did on a podcast? The yeah. The Does one she look she's like lo a specific type of Pokemon, or she looks just... like not a human? I, I don't this know one? how else this. Yeah, play it. 
Obviously, as you guys can see, I am alone on this couch. Brooke is not here with us today. You don't think she looks like an avatar a little bit? She looks like, like airbrushed, you know? It looks like there's a filter or something on that. What is that? That's not how she, no. What is that? As a white person. I think she just got her face beat. That's that makeup. Non-fan or fan. You you don't know what I'm saying? It looks a little avatar-y? No, I kind of, I can get behind you, yeah. I get what I, guess I get what you're saying. I love you and immediately. People like, I don't think I'd like, recognize her if she was walking down the street like that. I wouldn't be like, hey, Tana. She mm. did look She did look different. She looks really good. Yeah, I'm not saying that. She looks like there's looks sexy different. avatars and there's ugly avatars. I'm just saying like, it didn't look human. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Not not the direction I thought we were going to go when we read this. Well, that was way. quite literally the first thing I noticed when I saw her rant. I'm like, what's going on? Wow. But, the way your brain avatar? works. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Um, Two, I don't know how I would react. So clearly what Brooke did was fucking horrible. Yeah. If you're her, one of her good friends, is now the time you want to pile on her? And like, quote unquote, condemn her? Yeah, it's like, but I don't know what you do because it's like it was horrible and you can't stand with it. But at the same time, Oh, it's a tough spot for. Tana I don't know to if you in. can. I don't know if you can condemn it as Tana because Tana had the same shit going on with her when she was like seventeen. I, like that's what had, most people are mad about. They're like, she's acting as if she didn't have a horrible past come out to and was canceled for it, and now she's like, "Fuck you, Brooke." But she did like stand with Brooke later on in the podcast. I think people are doing the clipping thing. She did say like. I've been with Brooke on tour for like three years or like doing the podcast for three years and she's never been racist. I've never heard her like or exhibit any racist behavior. So she did like stand behind her, but she did start the podcast off being like, it's my decision why she's not here, which is a little. Why? Yeah. I also didn't get like, and maybe I didn't know she had the past, but she's like, I'm, I'm responsible. I feel horrible. It's like, what, why? I, yeah. I think it's like a, I think it's like a safe face game. That's what, how I took it. It's like a safe face game. I mean, when you want to look at it too, it's like <clears throat> they've been the girls that cancel everybody for the last like what three months. Every single time someone's getting canceled, it's from their podcast, from them, yeah. from their opinions. They're like the social justice warriors that are like we are the women of the people and we're down to earth in this LA world that's not so. And we're gonna give it to you guys straight. And then this comes out. It's kind of like, ooh. Tough. Yeah. Yeah. Tough I, to I don't do know. That. I like, I guess that's, that's it. I, and again, I don't know how, I, how to handle it. I don't know how anyone would handle that situation, but oh, it's yeah. like, it didn't her. First of all, Brooke's shit is like, I mean, pathetically bad on how she handled it with these apologies and being like, in a college, I studied like, uh, what was it? Like, liberal shit issue, yeah. and then later tweet is like um if you just say liberal shit you get better grades and it just back and forth and and multiple apologies made them all kind of just not feel really authentic at all and that's sort of again i don't know the tan thing because that's the toughest part of it. it's like what do you do yeah in her shoes because you are friends with her and you don't want to bury her and you want to be kind of by her side. But what she did was objectively hideous. Yeah, so you can't stand with it. But right. at the same time, it was it's not Brooke now. I don't know. It's just like if that was my best friend. I Yeah, I don't know what the fuck position I w would take, but you always want to stand by your best friend and like believe that they've grown and are better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah tough I think situation. It's, it's a hard one too because like I feel like as people and as like human beings we want to see people grow. Like inherently that's what you would want out of this situation, right? Like is like people to learn and and be better educated on how they should speak about things and you know like maybe there's certain things you don't go post online like even if you do think that way like but I I always find it tough cuz when you just say like <clears throat> We're going to cancel this person for actions from a while ago. Or we're, we're just going to say, like, fuck, fuck this person. Like, is that the best case scenario? Because then, like, now they don't actually get to educate themselves. Or they, there's no, they, we're just saying, we're writing them off. They're, that like thing, there's no they're, redemption. They're fucked. And I'm not, I'm not obviously defending anything she said or any of those tweets. Awful. You, you shouldn't be saying that. 
But what is the, what do you want from this? And I mean, I'm not the person to speak on what you, you know, you want the outcome to be. Um, but I, I'm just like, interested. Is there in, room for growth? Like what, yeah, what is the, believe? what is the yeah. real solution? What is the real like want or desire? Like for people that obviously see that tweet and it's like, you know, offending them and their, their culture and their, their people, like, what do they, what do they want to see from Brooke? Cause I feel like that's never like figured out. It's just they, the creator goes and makes their three, four apology videos, you know, and they try to make it not too edited, but not too like down to earth. And it's gotta be like, okay, I gotta like have red cheeks. Like I just been crying and think about this, like, oh, and they make their apology video. And then it's like, we, everyone seems to just kind of forget about it in like a month is typically what happens with all these situations, which I don't think is necessarily the right move either. So what do, what do we do? What do you, what does the world want or what is the right take? I guess is what I'm asking. I don't have the answer. I'm throwing it out there. I just, you know, know, what's crazy is that these tweets like were surfaced before and they've been circulating before, but since all the Clinton Kane shit, people cared more about her and now she's getting canceled way harder. The tweet. And I guess people are mad that we couldn't read the tweets last night. And that's not our fault. That's true. they were tiny, to be fair. Yeah, no, no, we literally couldn't read them. I can read them now. The one her tweet that's tough is the I started faking liberal views when writing college papers. It's so concerning how many how much my grades have improved since. By the way, that could be a true statement for sure. And I don't even really necessarily have a problem with that statement, but. How do you take anything she says seriously if she says she's like doing that? You know, and I know right. it's a while ago. This tweet's 2016. <clears throat> but by the way, 2016 is not that like that. That's not that crazy long ago. That's what yeah. people are really upset about. It's like she wasn't in middle school. She was in college. She was like old enough. But the one and then people, people are go really bad upset, on it. Yeah. She's going back and forth. I think people said that she liked something from like Trump, which, by the way, like does not make you like a racist or it's just. When you're going swinging left to right to left to right, it's hard to take anything seriously. It's like, well, are you just trying to like go with the way the wind is blowing and get back in people's like forgiven or public favor? Mm. Like sometimes with apologies, I'd almost rather. And again, you don't want racist and I'm not necessarily being just like Brooke or Tam, but somebody be like, Stan and just capitulating right away. And going back and forth isn't always the best way to apologize if you believe in things you've said. Granted, she is awful shit. I'm not just saying her, but it'll be yeah. interesting. How long do you think she's out for? This seems like <clears throat> indefinitely. By the way, I would be mad if I was Brooke at Tana. I'm just going to yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%. Like, especially because I would look at it like, you, you have... You've been canceled 35 times. What the fuck? Like, and I'm sure Brooke stood by her in that stuff. If they've been friends for all this time, like they say they have, I don't know when their friendship really started or what, but I, it, to I, me, I would is. be like, you gotta, it's gotta be like more of like a, let's have a discussion. Like, let me admit I'm wrong. And you yeah. Know and then maybe she done. agreed not to have me on, but like, I, I know me, I'd be like, you're going to take me off my biggest platform when everyone's already piling on me. And it could be justified. Like, I don't need people who have my back. When things are going well, I need the people at my back when shit when hits the fan, rightly or wrongly. But like, let me like start the redemption. I don't know. I, they, they for we don't know the private conversations they have. Yeah, it could no. have been a joint decision, but I think it should have been said that it was a joint decision because Tana made it like, "Fuck you, Brooke, you're out of here." But right. I think that's I think that's Tana trying to save face. That's what I think that is. Is like her trying to be like, "Oh no, I'm still the same." Like social justice war. I'm I'm over here. Like. But to me, it doesn't it doesn't do what I think she wanted it to do. I think it, it, it looks... I don't think there's man. anything they can do right now or say for people to be like, you're saying and doing the right thing. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's an... Like, yeah, it's I, just I, I, a I lot of what it, they did was so cliche. It's like, we're going to donate the episode, the money we make to like the Tremont Martin Foundation. It's like... You know great, what it was? Guess, yeah. But it yeah, but it's like, like, it took to this to have to donate? Like, that's the other thing that people are going to look at. It's like... It took the comments to do that. Like, what, what I found like icky about the situation and the apologies is there were multiple apologies and each apology was just 
what people were saying in the comments. So like the first apology was like what she she thought. And then the second apology, she read the comments, said what everyone told her to say. And then the third one, it's she donated to the thing because all the comments said it. So it's like, it doesn't feel genuine. It just feels like you're doing what everyone's telling you to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, then how do you, how do you learn though? If you don't listen to what other people are telling you, right? If you don't know, that's why I think these situations are so fucking crazy. Like it's hard to be a genuine, but also if you don't like, I think you got to take, you can't just like go and start firing off apology videos right after this happens. You got to think about it. I you got to like, it needs to be like a, you need a, it's a reflection time, not jump yeah. straight to the, like, let's go make videos about this and, and yeah, whatnot. and the, the severity of Brooks tweets compared to what Tana was canceled for in the past. If I, if I think I know exactly everything Tana was canceled for, it's not as severe as Brooks shit. So, no, that's yeah. not what I'm trying to say. I think it's more of just like no, uh, I know, I, would I know. want I'm you in my cause... corner. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it would be like, uh, come on, like, why are we not figuring this out? Are you teaching me from how you've learned so that I get better? Like, because your point, Bree, these tweets have been circulating. So you're telling me they both just never saw those tweets when it was circulating all this yeah. time? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Why. Yeah, right. There's and, no and way. And the pendulum on it is what gets me. It's like you're really on one side, and then the things come out, and you're trying to say it, now you're really on the other. So that's tough to believe. Like, that's tough that you had this viewpoint. The tweets come out, and you're like, well, I, I believe basically a total 180, like the other way. I don't know. And, and you have tweets being like, you'll just say whatever. To like get a better grade and to yeah. please people. Yeah. It's tough. Like, oh, fuck. Well, so that this is kind of similar well to the, I don't know if it's on the sheet, but it. did you guys see that Noel came back to TMG? Yeah. No, Noel is uh, Cody Coe's I did see that. Partner. Yeah. And he was basically just like, I can't speak on it, but people are mad at him. And it's like, what did Noel do in this situation for you to be mad at him? Yeah. Yeah, I so. did see that. I thought people liked his response, but. Who knows? I feel like, yeah. yeah, I also think that was like, I think that's a little bit different. That was something that was definitely Noel had no idea about. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is like, if these tweets have been circulating, like all the comments I've been seeing and like people saying like, these have been going on and on and like, we're a thing one point, but then other shit happened to bury it. Like, they both would have seen this and known this. So they were just like, not, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's also a no-win situation. It would have been interesting no maybe situation. if, like, Tana and, Brooke, Tana and Brooke were on together and Tana was kind of, like, yeah. going at her. That's what I think would have been the best, the best situation. Would have been, like, because if Tana is someone that, like, you know, has learned and, like, gotten better from, like, the stuff she's been canceled for, wouldn't you want your friend to then, like, help you kind of, like, Figure it out as well. I don't know. I just think to me, that's what I would have seen as like the better, better outcome. It's like, let's take responsibility together. Not like I'm going to shun you and condemn you kind of thing. Like, I don't know if that's your place to do that. I think. And know? Tana yeah. always seems like a ride or die. So I, I expected, yeah, maybe just have her on the pod and be like, what the fuck? Again, maybe they talked about it behind closed doors. Yeah, but I know. had the we same vibe. It's an impossible situation. It's like, well. I just know me and how I am. If I that I'd be like if if she wasn't consulted, even if I was dead wrong, I'd be like grinding my teeth. Be like, Rrr. yeah. Oh fuck so, yeah. Because everyone's coming at her. Like that's literally my and rightfully so. That's my yeah. entire timeline. All right. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So whether you like fresh faced, full glam, or somewhere in between, you've probably seen Thrive Cosmetics Viral Tubing Mascara. You know, the one in the turquoise bottle. It's all over social media. So it's easy to see why their bestsellers have thousands of five-star reviews. So all products are certified 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and have zero parabens, sulfates. Um, and Thrive Cosmetics donates to eight major causes, including those impacted by cancer, domestic abuse, and veteran and education organizations. So the name says it all. The tubing mascara instantly creates the look of last extensions. There's no clumping, flaking, or smudging without the damage of salon prices. So it's made with lash uh, loving ingredients. Their orchard stem cell complex, the tubing mascara promotes longer, healthier looking lashes. This is such a game changer for your makeup routine. I love it. I've been using it for a while. I wish I had it on right now. I don't have it on, but uh, you can refresh your everyday look with Thrive Cosmetics beauty that gives back right now. You can get an exclusive 10% off your first order at thrivecosmetics.com slash BFFs. That's Thrive Cosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I. 
B-I-C-S dot com slash BFFs for 10% off your first order. Let's get back to the episode. Uh, gay room romance movie canned after Joaquin Phoenix gets cold feet. Joaquin Phoenix dropped out of a gay room, uh, romance movie five days before filming was set. He had got cold feet. The crew is reportedly speculating that the graphic nature of some of the film's sex scenes led to jo- Joaquin's exit. Um, all right, well, I mean, what are you going to do? Guy didn't want to have a gay sex scene, it sounds like. Maybe you should have known that before he signed on for the film, but... Yeah, I guess it's if he's like, I don't actually want to do that anymore, it's kind of... It's yeah, him. what are you going to do? Um, women asked Reddit if she ruined her relationship, but women admitted she attempted to compliment her, compliment her boyfriend by saying he isn't someone she would hook up with or be friends with benefits, but he is someone he would she would marry her boyfriend since asked for space and time to think. The worst. Yeah, no shit he wants time to speak, to think. You don't want yeah. to hear that. That's gross. So does that mean like, if I were to say that, that means I don't think you're attractive? Yes. It's like, okay. hey, it's like, oh, I, I wouldn't have hooked, I, I, I had to mature before finding a guy like you. Ugh, it's like, gross. it's like, you're not the hottest Oof. guy. Yes. Uh, but, oh, but you like, have a really good personality. Yes. Like, I, I'll you'll settle be a good, down with you'll you. You'll be a good father. <laughs> you'll be a good father. It's like, oh, like, that's cool and all, but. But out of a lineup, I'm not taking you home. Brutal. Yeah, that's like, tough. Uh, I would just say that. Uh, I mean, reverse same way. If a guy were to say that, yeah. To imagine his a guy says this to a yeah, girl. She's totally. like, yeah, you're you not my first that. pick. I'd probably, you know, <laughs> fuck other girls before you. But like, you'd probably be a good mom and like Gross. have good babies with me. Yeah, so, that's what's up. You fucked Gross. up. Gross. That's Gross. Gross. Kind of wasted when she said this. <laughs> Horrible. Uh, influencer says sex doesn't count if it's short or you use a condom. Well, this is nuts yeah this, yeah, this is, is just come on. I mean, what, what what do you what does she mean by short that under the, three minutes. The, the length of the under oh. three minutes oh, okay okay that's crazy too yeah crazy what about all the three minute man out there all right what about Please. them might There's not fuck you long too. time but There's they fuck a, you good time might not ton, fuck you long time but they fuck you good time all right tons of guys who have never had sex to be honest if you like three minutes and <laughs> and condoms please give me a break yeah, there's yeah. a lot of virgins walking around come on this was a crazy story. Chicago cafeteria worker steals 1.5 million of chicken wings. How many <sighs> chicken wings Hustling. is that? <laughs> this Nine is, this... years in prison this lady got. So <sighs> she was ordering for the, the intent uh, was for families to pick up students during the height of COVID. The district discovered a crime when they noticed she had exceeded the annual budget by 300000 I thought it's something to do with, too. She's only ordering, like, bone-in wings, and they don't do bone-in for, because oh. it's a choking hazard. But oh. nine hey. years is nuts for this Nine crime. years is crazy to me. Crazy I mean, wh- to me. $1.5 million, though. Like, imagine you rob a bank for that much. I feel like you hear people do, like, manslaughter, and they get, like, five like years. Like, six years, for, yeah. 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 And, and like... Maybe Did she'll get a get plea hurt? deal. No one got hurt, you know? This Did woman anyone was just choke doing, on the her, bones? doing her thing, eating wings. You know what I mean? She was just eating wings. Was I, she feeding say, her family? Like, who was I think she the no, wings? She was, I think she was selling them on the, on the black market. Oh. It was like a black wing chicken. black market. Yeah, black wing chicken market. Uh, Disney no way. Fa- yeah, that's what she was doing. Disney fan event reveals new Disney rides and movies. Disney announced the brand new Coco... <gasps> Well, now I got to go back. I fucking love Coco. Coco's good. I know you love Coco. Good? Coco's great. Coco's beautiful. Spectacular. I tried to watch it with Gabby and she fell asleep. Oh, dump her. (laughs) You have to, like, that would be an automatic, like, dump. If I was talking to girls, she fell asleep during Coco, like, see ya. Uh, Oh, in California? I've never Uh, been to the one in California. It's not as good. Adventure. Damn it. You hate California. I don't like California, but I'll have to get out there. You'll have to go for Coco. This yeah. picture, which is animated, looks spectacular. It just looks beautiful. Oh. I love those rides, the boat rides where you just go yeah. through the lands and it's it feels like, like you're uh, in it. What uh, is it? It's not, small the world? worst small yeah, world. Yeah, the worst ride That's on the favorite. planet of the earth. Small mm-hmm. world ride is the worst one ever invented, maybe. What? That's the best. That's a, oh. the OG. Yeah, that no is the OG. Way. I remember going through that as a kid and just literally wanting to drown I would myself. I rewrite it with my mom over and over. I got to text, I gotta text the boys. I got to te- text the Disney boys. Tell them we got to ride again. <laughs> Who's the Di- Disney boys? Me, Robbie Fox, Clem, 
and Jeff D. Lowe. We did the Jesus Disney. Jesus Christ. That's yeah, incredible. we did the Disney <laughs> Disney trip together, dressed up in like one of the Star Wars rides. I'm a big Star Wars guy. Who is so, a big Star Wars guy? Yeah. So we did the whole, we had like special, like we actually had our Disney host. Like we're going, that's great, but looks wow, like we got to go to California now. Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie spot filming Simple Life. So a reboot? The reunion special. Oh, I wonder cool. if they recreate the magic. I don't think they probably can. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's recreatable. What is Simple Life? Oh wow, Josh! Am I, am I out on this? Am it's I, iconic. A... Yeah. So Paris and and Nicole would like basically do odd jobs for each episode. They become like oh, because they... they were so rich their entire lives growing They're up. Like they were like rich Let's go like yeah. be let's almost go like, be like, like almost people. like Mike wrote dirty jobs except. If you've ever seen that show where he goes and does a different job epi every episode, that was sort oh, okay. of what it was. They were just humbling. They were showing people they were they were one of us. It was good. Yeah, but they That's never cool. they. It was funny because they were. It was like, like what funny to laugh doing? at because they're so yeah. out of touch, kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Adele and Rich Paul engaged. <gasps> Congrats! Such that a like happy. Such a I love power love. Couple. I love love power couple, but like the last. Like, I would never imagine them. If you said, like, who's Rich Paul going to end up with? Who's Adele going to end up with? A billionth on my list is together. A billionth I, on yeah, my list. Yeah, I agree. Those I've are known, usually the best couples. I've known they've been together for a while, so it didn't surprise me. But, yeah, power couple. Power this, couple, man. This next one I thought of before I just read the headline. The internet thinks Josh looks like the Swedish pole vaulter. Yeah. Facts. He's got a very, very hot girlfriend, too. They were like the celebrity couple of the tournament like he'd run over to her after he got the gold medal they were cute i know that's gabby showed me that video she was like look at how cute this is he runs right to her not to anybody else and i was like oh that's cool very very cute summer yeah. games medal isn't made well american skateboard bronze medalist nija houston posted a picture of how his bronze medal looks a week after receiving it seems he took his medal apart and let his friends wear it okay all right oh. i'd think it would be made well but who knows all right, guys, quick commercial break. So this summer, uh, Sunglass Hut has you covered and you can find every shade of you no matter what you get up to. I don't know if you guys have seen the video on BFF Social, but I did recently go to Sunglass Hut in store and I tried to find a pair for me, for Grace Vibe, New York Vibe, for Josh Vibe, LA Vibe, and for Dave's Vibe, Nantucket. I found a pair for each. There's a pair of shades for everyone and no matter your style, they have you covered. And when it comes to service, Sunglass Hut has you covered with repair services, sun love protection plan and complimentary cleanings, fittings and adjustments. You can also get your um, lenses prescribed so that you can see. So everything you need is at Sunglass Hut. You can discover the special selection of shades in store and online at sunglasshut.com. Your summer look is waiting for you. Go check it out. LeBron snaps at a young fan post when I feel like this is on there for me because I'm not the LeBron guy. I don't know what the backstory is. It was kind of funny because he yelled at the kid to get away from him and then start dancing like a second later. <laughs> um, but who? Uh, nice on LeBron. Stop. stop. Don't do that. I can't. Nice on LeBron. Champion. <laughs> <laughs> It seems to me like the there was something. There was, seems like there's something that was going on, maybe pre clip. It yeah, like I would agree with that. Yeah. I won't yeah. give them the benefit of the doubt because I don't like them. But my guess is there was some exchange before that because yeah. he was like enough already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It wasn't like this was the first time the kid had done it or something. It yeah, seemed. Yeah. Uh, Jake Paul wants to fight in the next Summer Games. I didn't think he was allowed to. Isn't he a pro? So like the Summer Olympics? That rule is apparently yeah. changing. So pros can fight in the Olympics? I mean, breakdancing's allowed. Yeah, but boxing was always an uh, amateur sport. Yeah, they can mm. they can pause their pro status for the games, apparently. Oh, well, Jake Paul. I don't know how Jake Paul would do against like the best amateurs. I have no idea. But if and it's going to be in like four years. How old is Jake Paul going to be in four years? Probably like 32, right? But what happens if other pros are like, oh, hey, time okay. out. I, I'm going to pause too. Then yeah, he's going right? to get knocked out and like, well, may knocked out, not knocked out because they wear headgear. But if all, if a great pro is like, I'm going to go win an Olympic medal, he has no shot. Fair. So I don't know. But I guess first amateurs maybe would. Um, maybe. U.S. gymnast says bronze medal stripped. So this went back and forth. It's a story because they changed the rules. The U.S. gymnast Jordan Childs, they 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 scored her, 
They appealed the score, said you missed like on gymnasts, you can do like a technicality. They're like, yeah, we missed that technicality that boosts you up. So then she became third place and then they went back and they're like, no, you're not allowed to protest. So we can't give you the extra point that puts her back down. But I think she has the medal and left and isn't giving it back. Yeah, well, she appealed it and they she got like they gave her the point, but they were she said that she was four seconds late. Like you have 60 seconds and she did it at 64 seconds. This is literally the plot of Stick It, where the the gymnastics coaches or in all of the judging is just so stupid. I, this I've is so seen, unfair. I've never I've seen, seen Stick, Stick It. it either. Stick It's the best movie to ever. Be, I mean, are you serious? You would love the it. The best movie. I would ever? love Stick It. Yes. Any if you don't love Stick It, get lost. It's it like one of the best movies ever. It makes me feel like it's kind of like Jump In. You know that no. movie about skipping? Yeah, with Corbin Blue and Kiki Palmer, obviously. I'm okay. rotten tomatoing stick it right now. What do you oh, think the score is? What do you think 87? it is? 87? Oh, no a, shot. I think it's, I think it's probably say a 53. 52. Oh, my God, we were close. What? What is it? 32. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Wait, really? 87. <laughs> Yikes. No, I'm well, not joking. Oh, t- time out. I'll give you the, I'll give you, let me. I am, I am beating. Sorry, it, 32.73. So that's a big... 32 is the expert. Audience score, which I actually trust more, is a 73. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Thank you. It's a, it's a really good movie. And the girl is like the most beautiful girl in the whole entire world in the movie. It's insane. Who's that? I don't even know her name. It's like the only thing she ever did. The most beautiful girl in the whole world? Watch it. If you watch it, Dave, you'll be like, oh my God. She looked like... Um, who's your favorite? Jessica Biel? She looks like her in the movie. Which but one you, was it? You need What's to, her like, name? Haley? Do a clip. Missy do a Peregrine? Clip. Do a clip from Stick It. Because she's like super young and she has the most perfect body in the whole oh, world. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Is her name Haley in the movie? Yes. Or is it Vanessa? This it? Yep. She's a tomboy. Sick trailer. I... I I'm kind of into the movie. No, Dave, please, can you watch it? It kind of like doesn't it. look horrible. It's really, I don't know like about her being the most beautiful woman of all time, but... You you need to just watch the movie, please. She kind of looks like um from... Uh, so like Joe Baby. Dog Baby, yeah. Um, yeah. What the fuck? What is her name? She's she, the one on The Office where they debate whether she's pretty or not. Yeah, that's crazy. Hillary Swank. But Hillary great, Swank, yeah. Hillary Swank. That's an episode of The Office. Is Hillary Swank hot? Uh, anyhow, I, that looks like a movie I'd kind of like. So I'm maybe telling I you, you would like it. I sobbed. I sobbed at the end. It's beautiful. Uh, break dancing removed from the 2028 uh, summer game. So I didn't realize like each home country gets to pick the one sport they add. I didn't realize that they picked mm. break dancing. This this ray gun has gone crazy viral. viral. Yeah. Oh yeah. She rigged the thing to get in. I didn't know that. I kind of li- I kind of like her. Even though they, she rigged the like. Yes, I like <laughs> she's her. She's like celebrating. <laughs> yeah, she's like really eating up the whole thing, the kangaroo dance. But the whole backstory, which I was reading, like so, the World Ballroom Dancing Federation, they wanted to get ballroom dancing into the Olympics. They were told no, and then ballroom dancing was like what about break dancing and ballroom dancing like she's a ballroom dancer so the actual break dancing people are like why is ballroom controlling break dancing that would be like hey ice hockey you're in charge of basketball yeah yeah oh, that doesn't make a lot of sense but she's like the most famous olympian of the whole fucking olympics 100 dude. she's overtaken noah lyles who's that the exactly. sprinter. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't uh, really watch any of the running, unfortunately. That's the only thing that matters. Um, <laughs> Kodak Black talks to youth football team about drugs. Kodak this Black talks to youth football team in Florida and encourages them not to do drugs because they're too good and they're going to like them. <laughs> At least he's honest. Damn. Craziest <laughs> speech to give to like the kids, though, ever. That's kind of like with the laughing gas. It's like, he don't do it. Gangsta. It's like so good. Yeah, yeah, he was like, hey, you're going to ruin these. your life. These drugs, don't do them, but you will get every chick if you do. Your high school <laughs> life will be amazing. You're going to love every single moment, but you'll be addicted. So don't do that shit. 
Uh, fans split on it ends with us, Blake Lively, and Justin Baldini falling out. So I, this is like a real girl movie, I guess. Yeah, well, it was a really great book. This is like one of my favorite books, and now I'm pretty pissed about how the movie's turning out. Why? So there's a split between everyone that is, whoa, Boston, don't knock this down. There's a split between um, all of the fans because the book is like about domestic violence. It's a domestic violence book. And Blake Lively- Sounds is like per- a one awesome book. Um, Blake Lively's promoting the movie as if it's a rom-com and her, co- her co-star is like actually speaking about the domestic violence and Blake Lively is like, get your floral dress and come on with your girls and come watch the movie. But it's like a very triggering, serious topic. And she's just like, it's a rom-com. Hmm. So, so people so, are on Justin's side. Well, everything I'm reading in the comments, some people believe Justin has not been pictured in interviews with the rest of the cast and they have followed him. He must be the problem. Levine Justin's ex-podcast co-host Liz Plank did not congratulate on the movie, but instead congratulated Blake. It's also been rumored that Justin made Blake uncomfortable about her postpartum body while filming that he created an extremely difficult working environment. Um, hey, others had yo. criticized Blake for launching promoting hair care. Yeah, with the domestic violence. All right, I I don't know. I I know so little. I can't really weigh in. I haven't read the book. <laughs> yeah, no, probably don't. Probably don't make fun of women for their postpartum body though. Yeah, Anderson. but how do we know that's real? Maybe he was trying to be tough. If the so they're the couple in the movie. Yeah. So there's maybe two, there's two couples. Spoiler alert: there's two couples in the movie. I've heard about it, and I did think it was kind of a rom com. I did yeah, not know exactly. it was about domestic violence. Yeah, that's the no, whole like same. message of the book. But oh. also, like um, Ryan Reynolds ended up writing some scenes for the movie, so they changed it a little. Like always, the book is better. But did you I guess see the movie? I didn't see it yet. No. Okay. Only read the book. Yeah, I don't know a lot about this. So, uh, BFF's corner. Sky Bree called me fifty, mid fifties actually. Oh, not damn. So said you were pretty good looking. Yeah. Jake Paul or I, Dave Portnoy? I don't know the other person. Daddy Daddy Paul. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I'm so sorry. No. I'm so sorry. Jake Paul I don't know who you are. I fuck Dave. Dave's the best. I wish I knew what he looked like. I don't know who you oh, are. He's a pretty good looking. Like, what is he in his 50s? Yeah. I like that. He says what's on his mind. He's I don't care about the money at all, but I like the older. He's a good looking. Well, I don't know who you are. He's in his 50s, I think. Mm. No. I mean, you know, it's not that off. It's off enough where it's like good looking for 50s makes you think like, so what am I for 40s? Yeah, now? it's pretty far off, Bree. Yeah, it's pretty 40s. fucking far off. 47, pretty fucking 50s. Okay, yeah. You're, I, you're I, thought a, I thought she said 50. I thought she said 50. the decades now? Like, I mean, what? I feel like once yeah. you get over 40, it's like all the same. No, that's just absolutely yeah, not true. Can't even that's be just not true. true. Can't, it can't be quite true. I um, I just think like about song, like 22 versus like 30. 28 or 30. Like that's a difference. That's a if huge difference. To me, if you're 28, you're 30. You know what I mean? But if you're 28, you're not 22. If you're no. four, if you're 27, you're not 30. No. To me, it's like, yeah, yeah, you're 30. Okay, good. Get back into how old are you, Bree? 25. So I'm pretty much 27. You're pretty much no, 30. No, you're, you're 35. You're right, 37. You're mid-30s. Yeah, Bree looks, 30s. Bree, Bree looks good for her 30s. <laughs> um, I did like this Chappelle Roan song you sent me. It was good. I know it was good. I I was listening and I'm like, these ones. There's some that remind me of kind of the Taylor Swift songs, and I was like, oh, maybe he'll like these more than the Lady Gaga esque ones. I haven't heard any that remind me of Gaga, but this song I liked. I'm fair with it. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So I see away luggage a lot when I travel. It's literally everywhere. There's an away luggage right here next to me as I sit in a hotel room. Um, But as much as I love the looks, the soft side suitcases are great and always wished away made one. And now they do. So I got the soft suitcase. It is a black one. It's squishy. It's super comfy. And it's like expanding so you can fit everything in it. The suitcase looks better than any old suitcase, soft suitcase do. And it comes in all of their best-selling sizes, tried and true colors. There's something for everyone in the lineup. We have two carry-on sizes, two check sizes, four colors, black, blue, pink, and gray. And it's made from a high-strength nylon, so the bag is tear-resistant as well as weather-resistant. So the bag is soft but not sensitive, super durable, flexible, and expandable, and bonus points for the compression pad system that helps you pack it all in, and anti-tipping stabilizer that holds your bag when it expands so it's not going to tip over. And it looks good. So you got to check out the new soft side luggage from Away. You can head over to awaytravel.com slash BFFs. That's away 
awaytravel.com slash BFFs to see the new soft side luggage from away, awaytravel.com slash BFFs. Let's get back to the episode. Baby Pookie goes to a Zach Bryant concert. I know. I was going to go meet them, but I didn't. Why? Were you there? Sh- Should have dropped everything you were doing. I didn't what? go to the concert. And then, uh, uh, uh. yeah, I was on the bus, but I found out too late. And then I was like, I don't want to ruin their night. If you saw the video of them, he's just staring at her the whole entire concert. He's like enamorated with her. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a new horse. Very excited. Oh, you know who? Ugh. Who's the sway guy who lives in Miami? Oh, my God. Griffin. Griffin. Wait, Griffin. Griffin. He said he a horse. Wait, Griffin. <laughs> Griffin Johnson. Yeah, I said Blake Griffin. <laughs> no, which by the way, you see Blake Griffin. Like, I don't know if that's on here. He was officiating uh, Peyton Pritchard's wedding, and Emma Thompson, Emma Peyton Pritchard's wife's Emma. That's crazy. He Are was, they be- best friends? I didn't even know they were friends. I mean, they played on the Celtics together. I was stunned to see it. Oh, yeah. Huh. yeah. Um, but Bla- so I tweeted a horse race because the jockey was wearing barstool in the pants and he's like that's my horse i own that horse horse cost 1.2 million dollars the horse who, that won who owns the horse griffin said it was his horse he owns it with another guy Vinny viola he can't own more than a a, a toenail he might he might just own like you know like the back left kneecap or something yeah it's got to be because yeah, 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 1.2 yeah, yeah. million for a horse is i don't think griffin's how much is like your that. horse how much do your horses cost i i bought two well i bought more I'm horse racing is a wildly expensive endeavor. Like I'm a poor person for it. So I'm in partnerships where I have a couple horses. I own like 25%. Um, and I bought two horses that I own totally myself. One I bought for 670 grand. This guy was 200. And how much money have you made off your horses? Oh, zero. They haven't even run yet. Oh, so that's a good investment. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's not <laughs> like it, it, horse racing is not. You're not trying to make money. If you are, you're in the wrong thing. It's more enjoyment, right. pastime. So, all right, uh, all right. That's a rich people hobby. Wow. Sport of, yeah, Sport of Kings. Uh, post goes viral of a Josh meet and greet from 2019. Oh, wipe me up. I haven't seen it yet. Ugh, this is terrible. I'm I always so it. nervous when these come up more than any other. Headline. Oh, that's uh, Huddy. Yep. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Mine wasn't bad at all. It was quick. It was quick. It was quick. Oh, there's Griffin. There's Sam. This is like a hug you give someone like when their mom died. Yeah. Like it's I mean, so long and tight. Hey, mine that, wasn't that long. Mine was no. not that long. Huddy's was, was pretty. Huddy's was like, she was in a truck. Oh, yeah. That was, that was weird. That was <laughs> yeah. creepy. Um, it wasn't that no. bad. Um, we didn't just, I saw the sheet comment was like, is this all you guys did? I can't I believe this say is no. only a year before BFFs. No, I can't believe that. That's crazy. That is only a year before BFFs? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was pretty pretty soon after. Um, man, what? we did more. Yeah, we did more. that's crazy. That's crazy. I think it was 11 what? months before the pod started. Yeah. I don't what did you guys do at like these nine months before greets. you met him for the first time. <clears throat> Damn. What, what did you guys do? Like, <clears throat> you just had people come, take pictures, hug them, kiss them, and like... No, it was you- like, it's like a, I mean, it's like a meet and greet thing. So, you know, they'd come through, might buy some merch or something, and they'd come up and we'd talk to them, like, for a little bit um, before be the in, event would imagine start. Imagine if I did a meet and greet and did that. I'd be in prison before the meet and greet was over. <laughs> They'd be like, put this fucking guy hey, I was. I mean, I was 17. <laughs> I was 17. So I don't know what you're trying to insinuate, but I was young as shit. And then, and then, so they would come, like if they got VIP, they could come early and it would be like. And get an extra long hug. No, no, not early in the line. As in, like, we'd be hanging out in a room for, like, 30 minutes. It'd be, like, some conference it's room or something. It's crazy like, that there thing. hasn't been, like, you know, during the boy band era, there's always, like, the guy who's the pervert who's in, like, jail. Like, yeah. there's yeah. No, there hasn't been that from, well, like, this era. Well, which you, like, kinda. that. There's been what? managers that have been, like, dropped and, like, you know. Fair. Thrown away. Yeah. <laughs> Valid. Probably because uh, they think, were all kids too, and it was just a bunch of yeah. Weird but that's kid what shit. it always is. The room is saying Taylor yeah. Holder, but that was a little bit different. Oh, Taylor Holder, yeah. Well, he no, he like nothing happened to him. No, oh, yeah, he's, not he's a Holder. country. She's a country singer now. Yeah, um, I don't have an update on my funeral band. I gotta be reminded to do what that. What does I'll do that, that I, mean? I somebody 
Somebody oh, banned oh, uh, people from funerals. Uh, now I remember. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were banned from funerals. I probably am, but I, I want to ban people from. I know. thought you were talking about what band, like, bing, 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 was going to play at your funeral. Oh. It's a great would question, too. Would have been Jimmy too. Buffett, but. Would have been. He's dead. He beat me yeah. to the death. Uh, yeah, he, he, he beat you. Um, yeah. right. I mean, a, who would you have play? Who would you have send you off, Dave? In a perfect world, Taylor, right? Mm, that would be great. Uh, but again, I'm. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be my first music. Paul Simon, maybe? That would be good. Um, I'm a Chesney guy. Like Zach Bryan wrote, Zach Bryan, Zach Brown wrote a great song for Buffett, Bubbles Up. No, it's beautiful. Yeah. Bubbles Up. I don't know. All right, there it is. That's the show.